Hi everyone! My name is Evan Turk and I'm an author and an illustrator and today I'm going to read with you the book that I made called You Are Home, An Ode to the National Parks. Um, we're all spending a lot of time at home these days and so I thought this would be a nice book to read uh, where we're kind of taking a trip to all these places that we might not be able to go for a little while. So this book is inspired by all of the national parks around the country uh, and some of my favorite memories and the experience of being in, out in nature and how that can feel like home too. So this is called You Are Home and Ode to the National Parks. And it is dedicated here to my dad. Uh, it says, for making the parks a part of my home. So part of the reason that I wrote this book is that my dad has worked for the National Park Service for my whole life. And so I grew up uh, really having a connection to all these beautiful natural places around the country. To the chipmunk in her burrow, sleeping beneath the leaves to keep warm. to the resilient bison in the steaming oases of an endless winter, you are home. To the wildflowers painting the warming hillsides, to the pronghorn truing the grass of her first spring, you are home. to the prowling bobcat slinking between slivers of light and shadow, to the constellations of fireflies in the warm summer nights, you are home. To the herds of elk trumpeting the arrival of fall, and to the forests of twinkling aspen turned golden by the shortening days, you are home. To the child in the city surrounded by windows, noise, and crowds, and to the child on the farm surrounded by endless fields, you are home. To the child whose family has just left its first footprints on new shores. To the child whose ancestors lived on these lands before the stars and stripes took them as their own. You are still home. Beneath the soaring doorways of stone, and peaks that pierce the ceiling of clouds. Within the corridors of ancient breathing trunks of trees and the teeming reefs of the ocean floor, you are home. Gazing toward the highest of branches stretched up to the galaxies swirling beyond the moon you are home. Home is a memory of footsteps and wing beats of sunrise and sunset. Of the moving of mountains and rivers of ice. A memory carried through wind and rain, echoing in canyons carved way down deep in our hearts and the heart of the earth alike. Through rising seas and thawing ice, a home's walls may topple, its floors might crack, But what keeps a home standing can never be broken. A sense of belonging sung by the streams from valleys to peaks over thousands of miles through millions of hearts. 
From every river, star, and stone comes the eternal refrain. You are home. All right. So I hope that wherever you are spending all of your time now, probably at home, maybe you're getting to go outside a little bit, I hope that you can feel that sense of belonging that I always feel when I'm in a national park. And if you look at the back of the book, you can see some photos. Uh, there's one of me with my dad when I was very young in Arches National Park. And then here, while I was working on the book again in Arches National Park a few years later, some drawings that I did in the parks. And here, there's a map of all the different national parks that you can go to. And so those are things that you can plan for in the future too. So I hope you guys enjoyed You Are Home and Ode to the National Parks. And I hope that everyone is staying safe and healthy. Bye.